हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज माय न्यू प्रोजेक्ट सो दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ऑल अबाउट इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स सो इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर गोइंग टू सेंड डेटा ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड योर रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी यूजिंग योर वाईफाई मॉड्यूल सो दैट वाईफाई मॉड्यूल इज योर ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स सो आई एम गोइंग टू सेंड दिस डेटा ऑन अ क्लाउड सो बेसिकली सॉरी इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट Uh, is a cloud computing using Arduino Uno. So here is our phone circuit board. So okay, so friend, first of all, I would like to explain you uh, that module that is known as ESP eight two double six version one. So basically, this uh, module you can see over there. So this module is a six pin IC. So this module having a six pin VCC RST. CHPD, TXD, RXD, GPIO, GPIO2 and ground. So when by we are going to use this with Arduino, we just need to have TXD, RXD, and we need to connect VCC with CHPD pin. So this uh, is a enabling pin of channel. So you need to connect VCC to CHPD pin. So first of all, I would like to tell you that uh, VCC for eight to double six board. Is always a 3.3 volt. You cannot use more than 3.3 volt in any case. If you are going to use uh, more than 3.2, uh, 3.3 volt, even if it is 3.7 volt, volt, your uh, module will blow up. So definitely you have to be consider that you need to connect VCC and uh, CHPD this pin. Uh, you need to short these two pin and connect them to 3.3 volt of your Arduino board. Uh, well, one thing over there, I would not directly su suggest to use your Arduino 3.3 volt. The better way is to connect an external 3.3 volt uh, supply module because uh, this circuit drain this uh, module, your wireless module, is going to drain more current out of your Arduino, and that uh, can blow your Arduino board. So I would not suggest uh, to do that thing. But okay, for a testing purpose, you can do that thing. You can connect it uh, uh, to your Arduino board, 3.3 volt power point, and connect ground to ground. And so these are the pin you can see over there, a uh, TX ground. So you need to connect TX to the RX pin if you are not going to use uh, your uh, uh, software serial. So you just directly connect TX to the RX of your um, Arduino board, RX to TX of your Arduino board. And CHPD and VCC are shorted, and you need to connect it to VCC. As soon as you are going to give it a power supply, a red LED will power up. So this red LED indicates your power. So there is one very small red LED, which is a very good, uh, in a very good visual effect. So this very good uh, red LED is going to glow as soon as you are going to give it a power supply. And then there is a communication LED. So this LED is generally a blue LED. It's a blue color LED. When you are going to connect yourself, when you have connect yourself to internet, so in that case, that LED will glow and blink. So first of all, this LED, uh, red LED, will glow continuously. Then this LED, which is a maybe a blue LED, in my case, it is a blue LED. So in EPS zero one, ESP zero one, it is a LED, uh, blue LED. So it's this LED is going to be on, and this is your antenna. So this whole thing is your antenna for catching a Wi-Fi signal. So this is all about your ESP module. So here I am going to take. Uh, now we are going to look at the circuit connection. So connect. You can see over there. So I have used a certain pull-up resistor in circuit, but you can also connect it directly. So I have connect ESP uh, 8255 board to 3.3 volt power supply. So this is my sensor DHT11 sensor. So this is a uh, this is basically uh, your uh, uh, temperature and humidity humidity temp sensor. It can directly give you a serial data in a degree Celsius format as well as it can give you a relative humidity. So it's uh, this sensor pin number one is connected to five volt VCC. Pin number two is data out pin. So this is uh, connected to your whatsoever pin defined on Arduino. So I have in my program I have defined uh, data input pin through DHT11 is pin number four. So connected to pin number four, and 
third pin is of no use. You don't need to connect uh, anything to third pin of your DHT11 temperature humidity sensor. Now you just need to connect the ground to the ground of Adreno. Just one more thing you need to use in this circuit one pull up resistor. So here you can see I have used one pull up resistor. So you need to connect, <coughs> sorry, you need to connect a 10 kilo ohm pull up resistor in between VCC and data out. So it is very very essential. If you are not going to connect this pull up register in between VCC and data out, you are not going to get any data out of this data line, this green line. So you need to connect this register in between this. So here I have connected, you can see over there and do the connection as usual. And as I have used a soft serial, so I have changed a little bit. So my TXD, my RXD port is port number 2 and my TXD port is port number 3. So I have did it with using by using soft serial port. So for the ease of programming and, and so on. So you can connect a transmitter of your ESP uh, A266 uh, ESP01 uh, to the pin number 2 and receiver RX can be connected to pin number 3. So these are the connections. So it is very clear. Now uh, it is a very basic program. So you can see over there. I have used a DHT library over there, software serial library and a network SSID and all these things. So after doing all this, you need to do one more thing. Uh, that thing is you need to create an account on uh, a site known as uh, thinkspeaks.com. It is a cloud site. So it is a free cloud site. You can save your data over there. So it is a very good site. So you just need to create an account over there and after creating an account you need to add a channel. So after creating an account go to my channel. So like this I have created two of couple of channel temperature humidity and uh, temperature humidity with Wi-Fi. Okay I, I can show you after creating an account you need to sign in and after signing in you need to do a create a new channel. Just go to name your channel. If you want then add a description. So as in this project we are going to have couple of data. One is temperature, one is humidity. So for two data you need to have a two field. So you just need to tick on two field and name them these field as usual like temperature in degree Celsius and maybe this is humidity if you are going to use humidity. So percent humidity and after doing all this if you want to tag some uh, over something over there so you can tag or otherwise leave it blank just give you a name of this channel so like this I am going to give it a name Anuj A-N-U-J it's my name so whatsoever name you want to give it uh, you can give it and then you can do a save channel so like this I have created a channel so uh, you can when you are going to do this channel so in this case I have created a couple of channel so like this this is my channel so here is a previous data what I have saved over there so this is humidity and this is uh, Wi-Fi temperature so this is going to show you a temperature and this is our relative data over there so here you can see our relative data between humidity and temperature so here I am going to use couple of channel channel 1 and channel 2 so these are the two channels so it is being updated recently uh, hour ago so you can see over there now one thing is there you need to copy in program your api keys so this is your channel right api key you need to when you are going to create your channel so in that case your api key will be different so you just need to you just need to do one thing you just need to copy that api thing and paste it over there so it's your own api key not mine api key because i am going to change it after this video so it's of no use <coughs> uh, and you cannot uh, see your data. So the thing is that you need to copy your API key and paste it into your code. So in your code you can see over there, there is string API key. So here in this code you need to paste your API key. And your network provider ID and password. So here you are going to add uh, your network provider like HITM guest is my username and you are going you can add also a password over there so you have to add a password provider password and username and password so and all these things after doing all these things you can do it 
well so i am going to compile it it's a good pro program is absolutely good it's compiled so now i am going to show you how it works so i am going to power it with my usb port so as soon as i am going to as soon as i am going to power it up a red led blink which should be blinks which is going to on which shows that power is on and a data will be on serial port so i can see the data on serial port as well as i can see a data on this cloud so here this is a cloud data so this search shows that when i am going to just when i am going to connect my device now at that case there is a very huge amount of some disturbances there so because of that that disturbance this search come so you can either remove this search by using a matlab analysis so that analysis can easily remove these point which are of no use or you can just leave it off okay this is not a data and the rest thing is your actual data so i am going to power it up uh, by usb so here you can see a red led is going on and bl blue led blinks so it shows that it is being it is going to connect it to internet it try to connect to the uh, api over there um, any api you can add any internet you SSID and password. So you just give it a SSID and password into this program, and it will connect to that that device. Whichsoever is a Wi-Fi hotspot, just name that hotspot and give a password. So okay, I'm going to show it on serial monitor. So it's a serial monitor for my program. It is connected. So the humidity is 45 percent and temperature is 31 percent. 80 CPL close. It's a command for your uh, DST eight two one eight two double six. So now onwards, it is going to send the data. So whatsoever data is coming after this, it's going to send. So it's going to send this data continuously. Humidity is a forty three percent and temperature is thirty five percent. A delay is there because that side uploads the data each and every after sixteen second. So I have used a total overall delay right around 20 to 30 seconds. So that delay is very very necessary. So over here you can see there is a delay. So that because of that delay, uh, it shows that it will take a time. So now two reading has been sent to my web server. So you can see a time over there. It sounds 2:18 p.m. and the date is 10/7/2016. So here I am going to show you. So these are the data. So you can see over there. Now the data is coming. So the time is around two. These, this is this data shows a GMT three five thirty. So it's a India and date and time at fourteen twenty one. I am going to get this data. So this is a humidity data. So I am going to get these humidity data. So this is my channel. Uh, this is. Uh, I think this peak channel. So where I am going to get all these data? You can see this. This is a previous data, and now these are all are my recent data. So you can see over there, humidity is around between 50 to 40 to 50. So these points shows that 40 to 50 humidity is around 45. You can see over there, and now similarly, <laughs> on serial window you can see. Okay, it is absolutely working absolutely fine. The humidity is 43 to 50. and on a graph it is showing you the same thing so it is working absolutely similarly the temperature is in between uh, around 30 to 32 degree celsius so it may be around 31 degree celsius at 1421 14 hour 21 minutes so here in serial monitor you can see okay this is the 31 degree temperature so if i am going to uh, increase the temperature and humidity by blowing some air on the sensor the value must be changed over there okay so you can see that humidity has been raised to 52 and temperature is 31 so it is working perfectly fine because i am going to blow air on the sensor so definitely my moist air is going to coming on the sensor 
so because of a moist air from my mouth its humidity has been increased so it is going to show 52 86 even humidity reaches and as our temperature is around 32 of my blowing air have a some great good temperature so that's why its temperature is also going to be rise so it's 32 so let's see this data is available over there so there must be a overshoot at humidity <laughs> while my temperature must remain almost constant so it is there yes there is a overshoot in humidity you can see over there all of the sudden humidity from 45 to it reaches up to 80 so it shows it reaches up to 80 so 79 so it is a value it is a reading 86 is a reading so it is a reading over there 86 86 is there you can see and it is showing you 86 and as well as it is uh, maximum temperature reading is around 35 so there must be one reading of 35 so let's check uh, in serial programmer uh, a reading is around 32 so it's okay 35 is there so 35 reading was there so it is absolutely real time data and I am going to use a cloud computing so friends okay thanks for watching my video and kindly subscribe me and like my video and if you have any doubt uh, for regarding all these projects now you can connect any kind of sensor with this and any number of sensor whatsoever supported by your board so by doing this you can send a numerous of data to internet and in next video i am going to show you how to see this data on your mobile phone you can even use uh, internet of things you can upload a data on internet and you can also see uh, this data on internet and as well as you can see that data on your mobile phone also it's a very good thing you can have a very uh, very small application and with the help of that application you can see all this thing. Okay, thank you.